the Auburn job is open, which I don't think is much of a surprise to anybody. You know, Brian Harson came into the season with probably the hottest seat in college football. And now it's open. And Harson was never, you know, a great fit. I, the hire was very questionable. And, and I think Harson's a good coach. I just don't think he was the right choice for Auburn. It just wasn't a fit. And I think a lot of times with college football, you have to go with a good ge- uh, geographical fit. And Harson never coaching in the SEC, being mainly a Mountain West um, type coach, it just wasn't a good fit. And I think Auburn has learned a lot from the Harson tenure. And I think that's going to really shape this next coaching search. And I think Auburn is going to go all in. And I think they feel we made a mistake with Harson. We put ourselves back a little bit. We need to go out and, and target someone and be aggressive. And I think the first person that comes to mind, and he's already been rumored to be their top target, is Lane Kiffin. And we have Lane Kiffin, who has done wonders so far at at Ole Miss. In a short time there, has got them to 10, 11 wins. Looks like they're going to get another 10-win season. He's, He's looking like the hot next coach. And Auburn should target and go after him hard and have him, and and I think he could do a great job there. Now, just because I think he's going to do a good job there doesn't mean I think he's going to go there. And and it wouldn't shock me. I'm not saying I think that's their top target. I think he's the favorite for the job. It wouldn't shock me at all that he gets the job. But I'm not sold on him leaving Ole Miss for Auburn. Because I don't really, at this point, I I don't think Lane Kiffin's going to be coaching at Mississippi for the rest of his career. At some point, he's going to leave and go get another job. But I just don't know if that's Auburn. And supposedly he had interest when they hired Harson, and like I said, very well could happen. But if I th- if if I think Lane Kiffin, like what other jobs are out there? You know, there's you know, could he go to Alabama when Nick Saban retires? Could he go someplace else that that's bigger? And I just think, what's the big difference between? And I think you know Auburn's won national championships recently. They've got the resources to win national championships. Ole Miss does it. And so maybe that's the that's the reasoning that you go there. But is Lane Kiffin going to do any better at Auburn than he can do at Ole Miss? I don't know. And that's kind of my hesitation. And maybe I'm wrong. I very well could be. But I don't think it's a slam dunk, as some people are saying. Now, when you look past Lane Kiffin, I think there's another couple of names out there that are really intriguing um, and I think would be really good hires. And one of them is Matt Rule, former Carolina Panthers head coach who just recently was fired. Um, What he did at Temple, what he did at Baylor uh, was pretty impressive, you know, taking Baylor over after the whole Art Bryles situation and building that team up and his ability to build a roster and develop a roster, I think can translate anywhere. He's one of those coaches that, yeah, he's a Northeast guy, but I think the way he plays, the way he the way he coaches, the way he builds a team, I think he could have a lot of success in the SEC, and I think he could build a good program there. Get speed, you know. He when he was at Baylor, he had one of the fastest teams in college football. Just look at the you know the 2022 NFL draft. All those Baylor guys coming out were fast, and we know in the SEC speed kills, and so I think he could build up a roster at Auburn to contend um, for national championships. I think he's that good of a coach. Now the question with him is, does he want to coach right away? He, he seems to be one of the hottest names out there. I think he's going to have his pick. And there's talk that, you know, he could sit out a year and wait for a, you know, a specific or, or a high-profile job to open. Is Auburn that high-profile job? Because a lot of that talk was when it was just Nebraska – and Wisconsin and I think Auburn is in a better position to win probably pretty by far over those two schools so I think Matt Rule if there's any job that he's going to take this year I think Auburn would be that job barring some coach at a good program leaving for another job 
All right. Another guy to keep an eye on is Deion Sanders, Coach Primetime. You know, here's a guy that's done wonders at Jacksonville State. He's already interviewed and and had showed interest in some uh, Power 5 jobs last year. He's going to be a Power 5 job. I think he's he's going to get a big-time job at some point. He's going to – he can recruit. Looks like he can build a pretty good staff. Is Auburn going to be a, a school that, that takes that leap with him? I'm not certain. You know, I think – Deion Sanders is going to be a good college coach. I just don't know if Auburn, coming off of Brian Harson, wants to take a chance on a guy that, you know, it's, you know, it's a bit of a risk right now just because he hasn't coached at the, you know, Power 5 level. And I think Deion can hit it big, but there's a chance that he could also struggle. And so I think Auburn, like I said before, they want it, they have to, they have to win this job. And they have to uh, get that next guy because another year of another tenure of another coach that doesn't have success is not going to fit well there. All right, uh, a coordinator I think you need to keep an eye on is Bill O'Brien. Bill O'Brien, I'm a huge fan of him. What he did at Penn State was remarkable. Goes on to the Texans, takes him to the playoffs numerous times. His undoing with the Texans was when he took over and was in their general manager. If that didn't happen, chances are we still might be talking about Bill O'Brien as the Texans head coach. Um, goes to Alabama. I think he's doing well there. I know a lot of Alabama fans aren't the happiest with him, but, hey, when you're winning 10 games, 11 games, going to national championships every year, and you, you lose a game, you got to blame somebody. But I think Bill O'Brien is a high-level college football coach. I think he's a high-level NFL coach. I think he wants to get back to being a head coach, and I think Auburn would give him an opportunity to do so, and I, th- I think he'd be a great hire there. All right, so I talked to, you know, like I said, I think Lane Kiffin's their top target, should be the number one candidate they go after. I think right behind him is Matt Rule. I think those are the, the top two coaches they can get. Um, but I don't think they're going to get those two coaches. And I'm not going to bring out names like Jamie Chadwell and, and guys like that, because Auburn's not going to hire a group of five coach. Let's be real. Auburn wants and has the resources to go out and get a high-level coach. And so I think talking about some of these these group of five schools, their head coaches, I don't think that's a fit. Um, Mark Stoops, I don't think that's a fit either. I think Mark Stoops might leave Kentucky at some point. I don't think it's to go to Auburn. I don't think he sees that as a, a spot that he wants to go to. Now, the guy that I think they're going to hire, and it's ironic that I I say this because I just got done saying they're not going to hire a group of five head coach. But I don't really classify this guy as a group of five head coach. I think when it's all said and done, Hugh Freeze is going to be the next head coach. And, yes, he comes for Liberty. I just got done saying they're not going to hire a group of five. But Hugh Freeze was just at Ole Miss not too long ago and had a ton of success. He's having a ton of success at Liberty with their limited resources, their limited conference, whatever they are, and he's having, you know, winning games. I think Auburn's going to get desperate. I don't think they're going to get Lane Kiffin. I don't think they're going to get Matt Rule. I, I, like I said, I don't think so. Very well could be those. I'll eat crow. That's fine. But I, I have just a gut feeling they're not going to get one of those two guys. And I think they're going to panic a little bit and worry that they're going to get another Brian Harson, and they're going to do a deal with the devil, and they're going to go out and get Hugh Freeze. And here's the thing. I think Hugh Freeze is going to do awesome at Auburn. I mean, he did well. Look what he did at Ole Miss. And, yeah, he had some recruiting violations and some other stuff. But it, you can do that stuff now. You don't have to hide paying players. I mean, heck, every SEC team plays players, don't they? We got NIL. Now you can legally pay players to come to your school through NIL. And I think Hugh Freeze, his offense of mind, his ability to attract, you know, he recruited those guys to LSU or to Ole Miss. I think he would do well at Auburn. And like I said, I don't think he's their first, second, third, or maybe fourth or fifth choice. But I think if, you, if they don't get Lane Kiffin, they don't get Matt Rule, 
Maybe they're not sold on Bill O'Brien or Deion Sanders. Hugh Freeze is out there. Hugh Freeze has won in the SEC, and he's beaten Alabama and Nick Saban numerous times.